Hello darlings, I hope you're well, wrapped up, warm and cosy. Christmas is almost upon us and winter has settled in. So, have I got the story for you today? So, as some of you may know, I have been dabbling in a little bit of Torghast, battling the tower, and we got to level 5, on, as you can see on the video we put up the other day. So there I was, browsing Reddit, when I saw one of the most inspiring posts of the day. It was a beacon of positivity. It was a post attributing Torghast to one of the coolest additions you've ever seen to WoW. And this was from Stryker, and he put, Torghast is super fun for me. One of the coolest things they've ever added. Blasting through the floors with the random anima powers you get is super fun. I can go in there whenever I want, and I can decide which spec, and if solo or with group, that is so amazing. Dear Stryker, he loved the tower. It was his favourite thing. Now... Six days later, we have a very different picture. That's right, poor Stryker is now having a very different experience. Now he's reached the higher levels of the tower. He posted, I want to take everything back I wrote about Torghast in my last post. He says, five days ago I made this post about Torghast. I want to take everything back. Please never give us more than ash and bullshit toys in Torghast. Since yesterday I can't wait to finish my legendary rank 4 and never ever step again into this piece of shit. So, what's going on? Why is everyone suddenly hating Torghast? Now it seems that many of you, now you've got a few pieces of gear and have got into the higher levels of the tower, is starting to fall apart. And this has been seen across Reddit. So, WWMW put... Over the past two days I've spent five hours doing solo Torghast and have literally nothing to show for it. Cleared level 6 solo last week so I started at the new floor 7. Got wrecked on the second floor. Go down to floor 6. Get to the fifth floor boss who two shots me. Ok down to 5. Get to the final slime boss. I can get to about 30% before he and his minions <laughs> insta kill me. Oh no! So it would seem that the problem is that the random tower is just too random. And I thought I'll have a look around to see if I can find someone who is actually completing the towers. And that's when I ran into PM me your circuit. And he said, it took me about five hours of attempts on upper reaches just to get proper anima powers so that I could even kill bosses. If you aren't even ending floor encounters in 30 seconds for regular elites on each floor, you aren't going to be able to kill the floor bosses. Not to mention initial powers are set, and if they are trash, you're shit out of luck. He even went on to state, My DPS spec never made it past the first floor of Flare 7 and 8. It just wasn't happening due to pure luck of anima powers. Many classes and specs will not be able to sew this, Solo this, even with gear, because the mobs are scaling, Blizzard fucked this up bad, and I'm saying that even though I finished it. So there we have it. Random powers, not all classes being able to complete the tower, and each run taking several hours to complete with very little reward. It's no surprise looking at this information that people are starting to get a little bit irritated. So, what can you do about these problems right now? Unfortunately, there isn't much we can do. And for those struggling with powers and builds at the moment in the tower, you're going to have to struggle a little bit longer unless someone works something out, or we have more details in patch 9.1. There have been... A few good ideas however, one such idea which I really liked was the idea that you get rewarded for each run regardless if you finish it or succeed. If however you do succeed then you maybe get an additional bonus chest, for example containing loot items, extra anima or various toys so therefore no matter how many runs you do be it successful or not, 
you get some degree of success and reward and you feel that your time has successfully gone towards something. Personally, I have ran into similar issues. Being at level 5 of the tower, I thought it was just me not understanding how it fully worked. But it turns out there are bigger issues here and we can see that spread out within the WoW community. Will we see any changes and fixes? We'll have to wait and see. But as always, thank you for listening to this video. Let me know how you've been getting on in the tower and show me some of your more successful or terrible more rat experiences. I'll be back with more WoW news. Thank you for listening and have a great day.